welcome to Liz is Easy Living. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Today I'm going to open a new wine I've never tried. It is Gascon Barrel Rack, Rack House Bread Blend 2016. It's been aged in bourbon barrels. It's from Lodi, California, American Oak Barrels. Um, so it says in the back, Kentucky has a long-standing tradition of aging bourbon barrels in a nine-story rack house. This technique allows temperature and moisture levels of the barrels to vary relative to the height of each barrel storage. Cask and Barrel Rack House Red Blend takes advantage of this barrel tradition by aging our robust red blend in these bourbon barrels for four months, adding a distinct American oak char flavor to an already fruit forward wine. Kentucky's heritage and California's winemaking result in a red blend not to be missed. So I'm about to open it up and try it for the first time. I really hope it's good. Also, I have picked this wine because I like wines that have been previously aged in bourbon barrels. Go back and look at my Apothic Inferno wine review to tell you more about that. Now, that was probably one of the first wines that I tried that was aged in bourbon barrels. And I've been trying to find some other wines that I like that have been aged in bourbon barrels. And really, they just don't have a lot of flavor. So hopefully, this one will be good. light color, so I don't expect it to be too um, large of a wine. I expect it to be pretty, it's probably going to be fruity and real light, but let's see. Smells good. Smells like oak a little bit. Maybe blackberry. Good. I knew it was going to be light, so yeah, it's definitely light. It doesn't leave a lot of lingering taste in your mouth. When you first take it in, it's a little bit smoky. You can taste a little bit of smoke. Um, pretty fruity, I'd say. Like dark, ripe blueberry, blackberry. a little bit dry which is kind of funny that you can say that it's fruity but dry it takes a little bit of a moisture out of your mouth kind of makes your tongue a little bit dry but that's not bad it's not as i was hoping it would be better it's not as great as the other um, the apothic inferno that i love so much um I was expecting a little bit more out of this, but as soon as I poured it, I knew it was going to be really light, and that's what it is. So it's not bad. I'd probably give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. Will I drink it because it's open? Yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, it smells really good. I could actually put this in a candle and light the candle and make this smell up my whole house, and I would love it, but... be a good wine for like a cool night by a fire, even like a winter night. I think there's a little bit of maybe cinnamon in there, I'm tasting a little bit of that. Um, but it's not bad. I'd say probably 7 out of 10. And for trying this out of the blue, I really can't be that upset about it. <laughs> so. Yeah, not too bad. If you guys want to give it a try, I would definitely say give it a try. I wouldn't throw it out the door for no reason. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe.